Well, as Albert Einstein once said, I have no special talents. I am only compassionately curious. And do I think he's talented? Yes. Did he have uh, compassion? Oh yes, I'm very curious. So we're gonna get started and we're gonna go with um, the head. We're just gonna do an oval. Okay, and then we are going to give it its chin. So it's got the straight edge. This one needs to be more of a straight edge over here. Take that part off. And now we're gonna give him his chin. So it's gonna come down and then come across, okay? So you can erase the bottom part and we will make him look a little old because that's how everybody kind of knows him as the old guy. So we're gonna go down the middle and we're gonna go across the middle. So when he was born, you had a ginormous head. He actually grew into his head, but when he was born, it was huge, huge head. All right, so on that line, we are gonna give him his eyes. Now, I looked at baby pictures of him. He literally has the same droopy eyes as an adult as he had when he's just a little kid. They were, he looks like an old man, like same droopy little eyes as this. All right, so we're gonna put our pupils in. He always has like a sad face, except for that picture when he's sticking out his tongue, but kind of looks sad. I think he might think he looks sad, but he's just, his mind is always um, moving. Ooh, that's what I should draw. I should draw Tesla next. Anyways. So every picture I've seen, it almost looks like his, his eyes are black, but his pupils are just really dilated. And then we're gonna put some like wrinkles on the side here. And under his eye, we're just gonna put a little bit of his under eye and then a mark under there, okay? So on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. Let's do some wrinkles under there. And also we're gonna put in, there you go, his lines. Okay, he has got a big nose, but that's okay. So we're just gonna make a big giant ball right there. And then his mouth is covered up with his mustache. So underneath that big ball is his mustache. So we're just gonna go across here. And then he has his bottom lip right here, down here. So for his nose, we're gonna give him the, the sniffers on each side here. So now you can erase in here to make his full nose. Actually, we don't need this anymore. So we'll get rid of that. He was born in Germany on March 14th, 1879. He was Jewish and his parents were gonna give him the name Abraham because that's a, his grandfather's name, but they just thought it was a little too Jewish so they went with Albert. All right, so for his nose, it kind of has like a big bridge and then it kind of comes in. That's kind of how his nose is. And then eventually when you come down here, you can make a slight wave for his mustache in here. And then we will be putting in Sharpie coming up. All right, he's got big lines coming off of his nose. It's gonna come down and we'll make it go off of this side. And then he's got big wrinkles down here. He, you know, he's an older guy. He's a wrinkly old man. Okay. Um, so now for his eyebrows. His eyebrows, when I've seen pictures of him, there's not much to them. But I can imagine him always thinking, so we're just going to give him some furrowed eyebrows so he's Always curiously thinking. All right. And then we can come across here and maybe give a couple more extra lines. And then he's got these lines, his eyebrow lines up here. Okay, super job. 
All right, so he does have earlobes. We're not gonna see all of it, but we're gonna see a piece of the earlobe. As you get older, that's the thing that does not stop growing is your ears and your nose. So as you get older, they get bigger. <laughs> yeah. So if you have a little nose, that's great. If it's big, mm, you're kind of out of luck. Okay, for his hairline up at the top, now we're gonna make just a slight dip in there. And then his crazy hair can come off of here. So I'm just gonna make lots of little waves. Bloop, 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 bloop. And his hair is kind of just like coming off. Every picture I've seen him, he's got crazy, crazy hair. Why? Probably he didn't really care. And then now you're just gonna be putting hairs. And as you go gray, gray hairs have a mind of their own. They kind of are very wiry and they do their own thing. Of course, he didn't have gray hair when he was a little kid. He had cute little brown hair. So you're just gonna put some crazy hair coming off of here. You can do as many pieces or as least amount as you want. Now we're gonna be putting in his, um, his cute little suit here. So it's gonna come down like this, then I'm gonna have it go across. And this is his collar and up, collar and up. And then now we are gonna do his tie. I actually like doing ties. I like drawing ties. I like, actually, I can do a tie, tie a tie. I learned because I had four brothers and uh, they're in Boy Scouts and I had read their little Boy Scout book and it had how to tie a tie. So I learned how to tie a tie from my brother's Boy Scout book. I only know how to do one. Okay, so now this is gonna be his vest. It's just gonna come down like this. So he's wearing a vest. And then you can finish off his hair. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And put some more hairs in there. Crazy as can be. Okay, so now I do have more fun facts. So just stay tuned, let us Sharpie. I'm doing the ultra fine point and then I will go around with the fine point. So here we go. So I'm gonna go around the outside with the big Sharpie. A few things that I'd like to add to this. Above the eye is the, he has a big, um, through the eye, so he has that big crease line right there. Okay, so you want that in there. And then, then you wanna put, his hair is crazy, so you can put a couple of like crazy pieces just flying out somewhere. Okay. So now we can take our eraser and erase. We have our colors. I also put around the outside, which you can add math equations. So since he is a um, physicist. So I'm just gonna start with his eyes. Okay, so we are gonna start with just the tops of the eyes and then go lighter at the bottom. I tried to look in pictures, all of his eyes look really dark or almost black. So I'm guessing they look kind of like a hazily color. And then you're gonna come in with your gray and then give it the shadow right underneath there. Okay. Uh, while you have the gray, if you want, you can go in and do the eyebrows. What else do I know? So um, he's, was born in Germany and his most famous equation was M equal, wait, E equals M C square. And not surprising, surprising and not surprising, he didn't do well in school. Um, 
he didn't like the ordinary school system. And I know that um, a lot of the super brainiac ones don't necessarily finish school. They don't like school because they don't like the traditional, like sit in a chair and just learn whatever everybody else is learning. Uh, he was curious, he wanted to know a little of everything. That's like Elon Musk. He's got, I think three or four boys and they all just do homeschool. And I'm sure they're geniuses like their dad and they just learn whatever they want to be learning. So if they wanna learn how a car engine works, then they will learn that week on how car engines work. Or um, I know they're not getting a lack of education because their dad is Elon Musk, but genius man. Uh, same with uh, like all, all the super brains. He just realized, so what do they know that we don't know? You know, it's probably the the traditional go to school, sit in the chair eight hours a day, that is not how our bodies were made to work. And I agree, but most of us as parents are like, I don't know what else to do because I am not a teacher. So I homeschooled my daughter from fifth through eighth grade and it was super fun, um, but I couldn't get farther than that because she definitely became smarter than me. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just adding in some crazy hair. Since we're already in the gray, I'm just like, well, we're just going to keep going. I'm pushing down harder along the edge here. And then I'm slightly going to go out. Okay. So what else do we know? Oh, he did not speak till after he was three years old. Um, pretty amazing. You know, he was just kind of like an observer watching everybody. And he, he more, li he liked individuality and free thinking. So that's why he struggled with school. Cause it was just like, everybody was in the same box. He's like, I don't like this box. I don't think the teachers, he actually did so bad in school that they, he could have gone to school to become a chemical engineer, but his teacher, he didn't pass the test to be able to do that because I don't think he really cared. I think he was like, I have a different path. And it worked out just fine for him. Um, he also had some kind of disorder, they think, um, where he would like to repeat phrases, his favorite phrases, um, over and over in his head. So, um, like, I can just see him saying, E equals MC squared, E equals MC squared. It just, it gave him great pleasure to be able to repeat things. And he also... Um, he liked to think in pictures, and that's the same with um, Tesla. He thought in pictures, so I think they have a lot of similarities, you know? So I'm just gonna go out. You can add some more crazy hair, boop, 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 because his hair was crazy. And I'm gonna make it darker right underneath this part here. I'm also probably gonna put in a touch of black. Okay. Okay, so now for the skin color, we're just doing the peach. And you go over the whole thing, just like medium pressure peach, the whole face. And then we'll come in with the darks. Um, he was very forgetful. <laughs> he would always be leaving things behind, like his keys or his suitcase or anything. He, you know, I, I can imagine that just, you're just so smart that that just, that's trivial stuff. It's just material trivial, trivial stuff. He's thinking of bigger, bigger things. So, and I'm going to emphasize his nose by just doing a round circle on it. And then just finish off coloring in his face. So now you can come in and now we're gonna press down harder. So inside where the eyes are, we're gonna press harder. what else uh so he was born a 
German Jew, but in 1901, he became a Swiss citizen. Then in 1955, he died an American citizen. So since he was a Jew, he eventually came over to America, saving his brain. Yeah, there's a lot of awesome Jews that did not live. He was one of them that did, but not for everybody. It's just very sad. Okay, I'm just coloring in some other places around the outside of his hairline. We're gonna go over his wrinkles. And now you're gonna come in here with the, let's do a touch of pink. I'll do a touch of pink on his nose. A little bit on the lips and just a touch on the cheeks. Make him look alive. Oh, another fun fact. He did not know how to swim, but he loved sailing. So I'm assuming he had his life jacket on if he's gonna love sailing. Oh, I forgot this ear. So, so now you can come in with our tan and now we can emphasize. Around here, let's go under his eyes. Emphasize in here. Under the chin for sure, for sure. Color that in there. Okay. All right, for his suit jacket, I'm assuming that you can do that. And, oh, I'm also gonna come in here. Let's get a little bit of black. Do you see how it looks a little bit darker? So go along the bottom of his mustache a little bit with black. And then also, I'm gonna go right along his hairline a little bit more with the black. You can go along the hairline there. Okay, so I just made him have a brown suit and a green tie, but you can make it any color you want. So anyways, hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.